Albert Einstein. Yes, I'm starting my vlog out with an Albert Einstein quote. That compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. And I love it because I believe it and it's true. When it comes to your money, you want your money to work for you, right? And in a perfect situation, you'd have some money, you'd put it somewhere, and then you'd take it out a few years later and you have more coming out than what you put in. That is called investing. And that is my hope for you when it comes to your money. But the best way for that to happen is through compound interest. So compound interest very simply is you put in $100 and let's say you make 10% on that. Okay, so that's $110. So now the next year, if you make 10% on that again, you're not making 10% on 100 that you put in, you're making 10% on the 110. As the years go on, this money is going to grow and you're gonna keep earning interest on the big amount of money. And what happens, it just grows, it grows and explodes into this beautiful pile of money. It's fantastic. So compound interest is ideal. Now, the best way to get that when it comes to your retirement planning are two ways. Number one is an IRA. So this is basically a savings account for retirement, if you will. Now, beyond that is really what I want to talk about is the Roth IRA. So what Roth means is that you're putting money into your IRA after you've paid taxes on it. The benefit of this, number one, is that it grows tax free. Because number two, when you take that money out, you don't have to pay taxes on it. You've already paid taxes on the money you put in, so you're not paying taxes on the money taken out. It's a beautiful thing. So Roth IRA, a great place to look into retirement investing for that compound interest. Also a 401k. This is usually through your employer. If you work at a nonprofit, it's probably a 403b. So with the traditional 401k, you're putting money in that before you pay taxes, which means your income of what you're taxed on is actually lowered. So you're getting taxed on a lower income because you've already put money into the 401k. So 401k is great. Companies actually sometimes will match that. So if they, if you put in 3%, they match you 3% or whatever their match is. And so this is a way for your money to grow. There's also Roth 401ks, some companies, which is great because like the Roth IRA that we talked about, you put money in after you pay taxes, so it grows tax-free, all of that. Not all employers offer that, but if they do, take advantage of that one. So when it comes to retirement and looking at these investments, always take your match first, do the 401k, and then fund your Roth IRA. Now, we suggest funding 15% of your income into retirement. So if you have 15% of your income that's not been funded in the traditional match of the 401k and the amount you put into your Roth IRA, then invest more. But most people, that's your baseline, that's what you're gonna do, and your money is gonna grow, 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 and it's gonna be awesome. So make sure to check out Chris Hogan. He's like the god when it comes to retirement. He's amazing. And so check out his website, chrishogan360.com, and he has a great tool on there called the RIQ, the Retired Inspired Quotient. And what you can do is put in all of your numbers, like your income, how much you have saved already, and then when you wanna retire, how much you wanna live on, all the stuff, and it just, you click a button and this magic number appears of how much you should be contributing to your retirement per month. And it's just this great picture of where you are. So make sure to check out that tool because it really will help you in the future. So let's go make Albert Einstein proud and invest some money and let compound interest do its thing. Hey you guys, thanks so much for watching this video and hope you're gonna be making money on your money, compound interest, and I also hope that you subscribe to my channel.